And the Oscar goes to Green Book. Okay, so the 91st Academy Awards happened this week, and boy, was it so mediocre. Not only was Black Panther nominated for too many Oscars, people online are actually saying and complaining about the fact that Black Panther didn't win Best Picture. Get over the movie, people. It has one really good performance, a killer score, and I'm not talking about Kendrick, and good costumes, but it also has outdated jokes. What? An overpowered suit that takes away from the tension and the infamous PlayStation 3 fight scene. Speaking about poor CGI, how did an Infinity War win the Oscar? I get that First Man looks realistic, but come on. People actually said that comic book movies were being recognized by the Academy, yet Black Panther gets a Best Picture nod for purely social justice reasons, and Infinity War doesn't even win one Oscar. Oh look, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper going on stage to perform Shallow, yes! Oh, what a captivating performance. What was I angry about again? Oh, right, Infinity War. You thought you could distract me by having them perform straight after that Infinity War gets snubbed? You sly academy. Talking about failure, this is how the Oscars opened. No host? Okay. No popular movie? Okay. No wall? Ah, oh, thank god you inserted that Donald Trump joke in there. I haven't heard that one before. Do you remember when American celebrities were pushing people to vote, and now they're insulting the person that won? I'm not trying to defend Trump, but there's something ironic about that. So instead of a host, we get random celebrities introduce movie trailers for Best Picture nominations. Really? That's the best you could do? We're reminded that Bohemian Rhapsody, Black Panther, and Vice are actually up for the win. We get the expected wins and well-deserved wins for best costume, makeup, production, sound editing, and mixing. Congrats to them all, but wait, what? Adam Driver didn't win best supporting actor? Melissa McCarthy didn't win best actress? What the hell is this? Mahershala Ali and Olivia Colman are good in their movies, but they weren't the best. Spike Lee showed us how people should react when winning an Oscar, and Alfonso Cuaron? I probably butchered that name, but sorry, won Best Director, and Cinematography. That's all fine because it's well deserved, although I personally found Roma too boring to watch. We could turn down the amount of winners that bring up race or gender. It's all good and all, like be proud of who you are, be proud of representing a certain group of people, be proud of supporting certain people, but when one winner after another keeps on talking about suppression and representation. It's a little too much. On top of having one award after another, every winner, or at least I should say almost every winner, talked about social issues, race, gender, and whatnot. Like, come on people, you won an Oscar. That's the highest award a filmmaker can receive. Recognize the award a little more, come on. This is probably why Olivia Coleman's speech was the best one of the night. It's genuinely quite stressful. <laughs> it's, um, uh, <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Gone ask. <Oscar. laughs> Bao actually won Best Animated Short, and look, I can't complain because it was pretty good, but the others were better. And Spider Man Into the Spider Verse deservedly won Best Animated Film. Thank god there wasn't a snub there. The In Morium part was nice and beautiful, it included Stanley, but it didn't include Gary Kurtz, which was odd to say the least. You will be missed, Gary Kurtz. These people thought it'd be a good idea to divide an unpracticed speech between the three of them, which went down well, didn't it? No, I already did. Oh, right uh, plan, plan B, Gary Sanchez. The voting Academy members and our fellow nominees from the UK and Sweden. Thank you. Christian Bale, you're, you're fantastic. You're so great to Kate. Be and Paula Williams, Jamie Kelman, Adrian Moreau, Wesley Wofford, Christina Waltz, Chris Gallagher, Kenny Myers. Kenny Myers. Kenny Myers. Go ahead. Eric Horn, Brian Wade. Cheryl. 
Ah yes, we have to get to the best picture winner, Green Book. Now, this is shrouded in controversy and I think that's, you know, quite unfair. I thought this movie was really good I'm, and I get where people are coming from that the film doesn't really go into the dark deepness of what it was like to be an African American in that time, especially going down south. But the film was advertised as being the bonding of two unlikely friends, you know? And that's what I got when I saw the film. I got a film which talked about one white guy and one black guy who seemed completely different and then they became friends at the end. And that's what I came in for and that's what I got, you know? Sure, the title is quite misleading, come on. Green Book and the film spends barely any time with discussing the Green Book or really doing anything about it. But for what it is, it's good, you know? Black Klansmen still should have won, but... Let's be honest, these same people would have been the ones who would have been so happy if Black Panther won, and I know for a fact that that did not deserve to even be nominated for Best Picture. Now the niece of Dr. Shirley has also been complaining about the film, saying that it's fake with how Dr. Shirley is portrayed, but the writer of the film and the writer of the book that the film is based on said that he actually talked to Dr. Shirley before his passing, so it's really just two people's words against one another and you can never really know who's telling the truth until one of them admits that they're lying. So for now, I'm pushing that to the side and really, if you want to like Green Book, you can like it. I got what I wanted out of it, so I can't complain about it winning Best Picture. Let's leave Best Picture like that and move on. That wraps up the 91st Academy Awards. I would like to say congratulations to all the nominees and good night to Bradley Cooper's mother and my children. And thank you for watching. Is that it? Is that how Julia Roberts is closing the Oscars? She's just saying... Good night, people, basically. What? I remember when Oscars were fun and people took viral selfies. Like, look at this one from Ellen a few years ago. Hey, look, Kevin Spacey was in this one. Ah, uh, right. <laughs>